Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's time for another review. What's it going to be, Mark? I hear you cry. Yeah, Mark, what's it going to be? Well, it's going to be... Oh, I stay in my ear. No, it's not going to be that. It's going to be another in the Rustler range and it is the Stay. Flame Grilled. Bacon Cheeseburger. With signature sauce, whatever the signature sauce is. Taking out the packaging, obviously. Put the bun in the toaster. And rebuild the cheeseburger. Da, 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 da. 90 seconds in the microwave. Okay, we get a little plate. Put the microwave. Hope everyone's safe and well wherever you are. Don't forget to be happy, be healthy, be safe. Do whatever makes you happy, and if you can help someone else, someone else along the way, do that too. Even a simple hello can make someone stay. So. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell for notifications, tell your friends, tell your family, tell a random stranger on the street. And if you're watching on TikTok, Insta, Facebook, or any other social media, please hop back over to YouTube, Mark Crescent, 9433. Remember, it's absolutely free to subscribe, costing nothing money to wise, only one or two seconds of your time. First, second, click subscribe, second, bell for notifications. Now we've got that all out of the way, let's get this open, have a look at exactly what we've got, and give it a review. So we've got the signature sauce, the plastic cheese, oh sorry, processed cheese, the burger, the bacon, and the bun. So we'll put a burger on the plate. It's the bun in the toaster and the burger and the one piece of decent looking bacon in the microwave 90 seconds and that's that cooking we'll prepare the sachet of signature sauce Opened ready. Saw these and I picked it up to do a review on tomato, ketchup from Heinz, pickle. While we're waiting for the burger and that to cook. Another one, so I've oh, this been out a while probably, but I've just seen it. Heinz curry ketchup. I'm not a mayonnaise fan. Per se, but this one I like these crisps. Well, I did when I was younger, and I saw this since it's coming up for Halloween too. Scarily good monster munch mayonnaise. I'll either be love or hate, so they'll be coming in the future, along with many other things. Let's pre open this uh, processed cheese, or as I like to call it, plastic because it looks like plastic, doesn't it? The burger cooked and the bacon. Oh, I've got that ready. Cooked version. Uh, 
and the toasted bun. So now reassemble. That's what you call warm. So what we'll do. Now, the question is, do we put the secret sauce on the burger and bacon or on top of the cheese? Let's do a little bit of both. That's a bit of that. Get the processed cheese. Oh, it really is like a plastic cheese, doesn't it? And let's get the rest of this secret sauce, whatever. Where's the secret sauce? Signature sauce, sorry. Signature sauce, my bad. Top toasted bun. So this is Rustler's bacon cheeseburger. Signature sauce. It's okay. Do I like the signature sauce? I don't. For me, this would have been better with a bit of mustard and a bit of ketchup, maybe. But the burger, the bacon burgers, are it was okay. For me, the signature sauce has taken it away a little bit. Would I buy this one again? Yes, I'd buy it again. But I wouldn't put the signature sauce on. I could say I do with a bit of mustard. A bit of ketchup. For me, I think that would be a bit better choice. So, Rustler's bacon cheeseburger. The burger itself is pleasant enough. Signature sauce is a no for me. Score. For Rustler's bacon cheeseburger. 4.1. <clears throat> 4.1 out of 5 for Rustler's.
bacon cheeseburger. As always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you're one of the 90% of people that just watch the videos, but don't like and subscribe, please consider liking and subscribing. It costs you nothing at all monetary-wise, and it would help me out greatly. Help me hit that 100,000. I've got a long way to go. It'll probably take a while. but uh, And if and when... I hit that mark, I will be giving a mystery prize giveaway to a random subscriber, wherever you are in the world, whether it's in the UK, wherever you are, a mystery subscriber, if or when I hit the 100,000, will win a mystery prize. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.